What's up guys, it's your girl Riva and I'm back again with another video. If you're new to this channel, hi, my name is Riva, it's very nice to meet you. Before we get into this video, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up, and as I always say, make sure you guys leave your comments in the comment section down below. It does not matter how you feel about this video, we all want to talk about it. Also, if you're not following me on Instagram, follow my Instagram, it's at R-I-V-A-H underscore J-O-R-D-O-N. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into the video. I, I've had so many issues with that before. And that's one of the reasons why sometimes things don't last. Because whoever you're with, you want them to be able to get along with your loved ones and vice versa. Oh, like, so, but if, if not, not like, like, yeah, for me, issues. I don't have time for that shit. If, so, if, if you want to like me, I'm not dating them. But okay, it's not, I'm it's not a simple it's, You know what I'm saying? I, I'm not dating them. It's not as care. simple as they don't get along. So, fuck it. They don't get along. Yeah, it's, no. It's being it's respecting of... Their family, their friends. Like, if you know that. I have daughters, so that too. Exactly. Like, being respected of their children. Ball game. Yeah, of their children. But if I know that your grandmother and your auntie do not care for me, I'm not. What I'm gonna do is be respectful, right? Respectful meaning I just won't come to the party where I have to be in their presence to be disrespected. Nobody wants to be in But nobody there. likes that position. Like, you're. Well, okay. First thing I wanna say is, is um, you know, this the guy over here, he's like, I don't care. Like, I'm not dating them. It doesn't matter to me. I think that there's different um, sectors of this conversation. One, um, you are not dating your spouse's family. However, it is a big if if family is a big deal to them, it should be a big deal to you. Um, I think as a woman, you should always be the one that is bendable, flexible, respectful, regardless of any kind of situation. Um, for a man, it's kind of different because that woman is going to you know, cling to her husband, right? So she's going to be the one that's clinging to him. Um, you know, it's kind of, imp it's very important actually for her to get along with his family, especially if they're very close. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I don't, I don't see the reason why you would want, want to be in a relationship with somebody and they go to family events and you don't go because you don't like them. I think that's like a harsh situation unless they kind of have like a tumultuous relationship with their own family that's one thing, but if they have like a great relationship with their family and you just always home, like you're never around, you can kind of count how long that relationship is uh, is gonna last because their family is if their family means everything to them, it's gonna be easy for them to kind of fade out that relationship with you. Partner's position, they're gonna right, hate that because I've been there. That's but, a horrible but position. This is the reality of it, right? This is the reality of it. As my partner, as my hubby, as your wifey, right? If, if if every time I bring my man to a barbecue or whatever, my Uncle Joe is acting crazy, got something to just say, I'm dating a white man. And every time I bring him to my, my function, my Uncle Joe has just always got some racist remarks, disrespectful to him, and all that shit. Oh, I'm going to be snapping on Joe. to like him. He will be respectful in his presence. What if but, it's vice but, versa? If, but if Uncle Joe continuously gets out of line and my man got to show him this is not the... I'm going to stand back out of that. What if it's vice versa? Nah. If see, I, see, I think that's extreme. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't want your spouse and, like, somebody in your family fighting, right? But at the end of the day, like, I would be like, Uncle Joe, respectfully, like, you can't talk to my man like that, you know? Like, that's just not cool. And, and as a matter of fact, we're going to leave and I'm not coming back around. Like, I think I, as a woman, that's your place. You wouldn't want your spouse and your uncle to be literally, like, on the floor tussling. Like, that's kind of crazy. But also, I wanted to say this point as well. When you have, like, these situations with family and stuff like that, like, you really have to... Going into a relationship, it's important to know that person's family and where they come from. Because sometimes people get into relationships with people that don't have similar upbringing as them. And when I say similar upbringing, I mean as in, like, standards. Like, certain moral standards. You know what I'm saying? Like... There was somebody that's complete opposite of them, and that's fine. But there's a certain moral standard that the family should be should have also. And it's very important when you're raising a child or when you're going to have children, when you're going to get married, that you mesh with a certain bloodline, right? And to know that bloodline is to know where those people come from and how they act and how they maneuver. Because at the end of the day, if you see Uncle Joe or if you see, you know, some, some people in the family act in a certain way, genes are real it's possible that you can see that same behavior within your child based off of just like genes you know what i'm saying like genes are it's a very very like 
complex situation because some just like how you can have a nephew or a child who looks just like an aunt or an uncle and you're like wow how do you look like my uncle like how do you look like your uncle and not your your parent it's how the genes work same as mannerisms same as certain things so it's important to get to know where that person comes from what if it's your man what if it's your man having an issue with your uncle yeah, this is what I'm saying. It's my man. I'm bringing my man. No, to- what if your uncle's not doing nothing and it's your your partner that's like, oh, I don't really like your family and always talking about your family okay. and having issues okay, with your family. So How listen, do you have the in that, in that In that occasion, at the end of the day, right, I'm dating my man for the reasons I'm dating my man, right? And this technicality of you don't like my uncle, I don't live with my uncle every day. I don't see him every day. He's not going to give me a baby. He's not going to help me build a foundation. He's not going to comfort and console me every night. So at the end of the day, it's a harsh reality. I'm not saying I'm going to be distant, but just when I see Uncle Joe now, my man won't be there. Well, I'll tell you one thing, my ex girlfriend. If if your spouse is the one that does not like your family, I think that that's a different situation, like, you know, as long as as long as people can be civil and respectful, but I think it's important to get to know the reasons why. Because if you sit down and you talk to your spouse and maybe they see something that you don't see, you know, maybe they see things that are happening that you're not aware of, it's important to get to know the reasons why they feel this way. Because maybe they can be opening your eyes to something as well. You know what I'm saying? But um, if they just don't like them because they just don't like them, and your family means so much to you and you're so connected to your family and you're always at different family events and stuff like that and your fam- you and your family have a great relationship, again, this is like an issue. This is definitely going to be an issue. It's she, like that. She was... Uh, my ex-girlfriend... But real quick, my ex-girlfriend was like that. She was... One, one of the things that I truly appreciate about her is that she didn't let nobody disrespect me. If even her close friend said some slick shit, she was like, oh, we're not doing that. We're not talking to my man like that. Right. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what he did. And then when we're alone, she'll tell me, motherfucker, right. you was bugging. Yep. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yep. and, and I'm not letting my friends play you because I got to wake up to you every day and deal exactly. with you. We're not doing that. And, you, better, so, you better... One thing about women, you better realize what you got to go home to in your household. Protect your household first because everybody else is disposable when you get into a serious relationship. I and that's, just and, that, and I'm that. just... I'm just keep, everybody else is disposable at that point sisters brothers everybody because this is the person this is your new family that's the reality that when you marry somebody when you get into a relationship and i mean i'm talking about serious and I'm not, nobody wants to replace their mama but if mommy can't get it together too this is my new family and and sometimes what happens is you allow your family to disturb your peace and if this person didn't have such an impact and this is so valid um so what she's saying right here i completely agree with like especially as a woman, you know, because she's talking to women. You know, your man is your leader, your guide, your protect, your protection, your, you know, all of these things. So at the end of the day, the first person that you're supposed to be defending, having their back, like running for, you know, going to bat for is your spouse. Number one, like a 100%. So I completely agree with that. Um, and then there's also the aspect of like, you know, some people, some family members don't like your man because they wish they had a man just like that. Let's just be real, right? Like they wish they had not only a good man, but that one. And they don't understand how you had the opportunity to be in a relationship with somebody like that. Some of them um, don't like him because they think that that person is too good for you. Okay. Some, some of these situations is because they've had bitter situations with their own men. We're talking about the women. Cause I feel like men don't really get involved in this stuff, but you know, some of them have their own, bad a bad taste in their mouth because of situations with their own men and they're trying to put that on you and put that on your relationship and just trying to divide because you know misery loves company some of them don't have no man okay so there's a lot of different reasons why these people can feel the way that they feel fine for them but at the end of the day that's not who you're going home to that's not who you live with that's not who's going to give you children that's not going to they're not even paying any of your bills so who cares you know, in your relationship, you and your man would not be even arguing. Because well, what I was going to say, sorry, uh, sorry. What I was going to say was res- um, defend your man at all costs before family because you could check him when y'all get home. Like, yeah, you was wrong for saying that. You should never did that. You kind of stirred up that, that little better. drama. But, you know, the way, you know, way auntie reacted, that was a little bit much. Yeah, so that sets the tone of how they should be you know, treating him, you know what I'm saying? But if it's your man that's not respecting your family, 
that just takes off the check on the you know hubby I mean, list. That's what that's what that's I. That's what I mean. But the thing is, at the end of the day, how your family behaves with your spouse, it tells you how much respect they have for you. Because if your family respects you, they're gonna automatically have a certain level of respect for your spouse, whether they like them, don't like them. Feel this way, feel that way. They're going to have a level of respect because they respect you. If your family finds their way to disrespect their spouse, it's because they don't respect you. Wait, a whole lot of this is being completed with yourself before you even meet somebody else. What I hear in these conversations, as I just said, that's why I didn't say nothing. Everybody's talking about who the other person is going to come in to complete them, right? I've been married. I always have relationships. I'm, I'm married now. I've been with my wife for 10 years. We was already who we was before we met each other. That's how it was, it, it was simple for us to say, like, yo, I could fuck with you. I could fuck with you, too. She had her money. She had her lounges. She had her career. No, but what about if her she, family don't like you? Like, but, how does but that we're talking about what makes people wifeable and not wifeable. Right, and we some, said your family. And somehow it got off onto the family. But I'm it, saying, once you're complete, my family knows not to fuck with me and my wife. They know better. And my wife family know not to fuck with. They, you, you can't say nothing about me. That's it's not even going to get there because once I met her, I already had a standard of who I was already. Right. All right. Your family and how you move is not going to change my standard. My standard is always going to be here and it's never going to go down whether you like it or not. So if you can't control your family and y'all can't deal with this, then we got bigger problems. You're not complete. You're not fully grown yet because they already should know their boundaries when you got right. a relationship when they coming in. And honor your growth. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah, and honor your growth. We're not going back and forth. My father, my uncles, my cousin, my cousin said one thing to my wife, and this was my closest cousin, and I told her, like, we already know we don't get down like that, and I'm not even going to talk to you about it. I'm going to talk to my wife about it. Mm -hmm. And let's see what happens from there. And if I decide from that point, then maybe I might not talk to you again because our world is fucking complete already. I didn't need her to complete me. She didn't need me to complete her. We came together in love. That's why I said 100-100. Nobody wants 50-50. Yeah, that's why I say it don't matter about the family. Is it that we're going to get it right or we not? I mean, that makes sense. I'm just saying nobody wants to be invited to the wedding. Okay? (laughs) You won't be invited because at the end of the day, me and him are going before God. Not me, him, and everybody and the 10 sisters, cousins, and all that. No, it's me and him. So at the end of the day, if y'all can't get it together for the sake of us, then y'all won't be. What he said was valid, you know? And and again, that goes to the point that I made about once you have your own level of respect, like your family won't disrespect. It shows how much your family respects or does not respect you with how they treat your spouse. And that's a hundred, you know? If they don't see you as a, an adult that is capable of making their own decisions, right? And you know what you're doing, then they can come and try to challenge you and ask questions about your spouse. But if they do respect you as an adult, they're not even going to even try or even attempt or even step over that line. Like, and that's, and I think that's very valid. What do you guys think about this? Make sure you guys let me know in the comment section down below how you guys feel about this video. Hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. And again, if you're not following me on Instagram, follow my Instagram. It's at R-I-V-A-H underscore J-O-R-D-O-N. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Love you.